we have already known the design library before and in this class we will use it to create an assembly with parts from the SOLIDWORKS library. The design library is important for working with assemblies, because in addition to allowing the insertion of standardized components, we can also create our own library, thus facilitating the construction of assemblies. Come on, let's go. We start by opening a new mount file. We cancel the command begin assembly and we will use the design library. We expand the design library, the routing folder and the tubing folder. We click on flanges and we will add a flange to our assembly. We select the component and drag it to the graphic area. We drop the mouse and see that the box to choose the configuration is displayed. We select the configuration shown and confirm. If we click on the graphic area again, we insert one more component. Each click a unit of the component is inserted. In our case, since we want only one flange, we cancel the insertion of copies. Note that this component is fixed. Next, let's insert the tube, keep track. We also inserted a tay, note. OK, now let's position the components, using two procedures. One is what we already know, mate command and the second is the mate reference. The mate reference can be inserted into the part file, so that when the component is added to the assembly it is easier to position it. Let's set a mate reference for this tube. We access the insert. Reference geometry, mate reference menu. In the property manager, we define what type of positioning or reference we want to apply by selecting the entity and choosing the mate. We can apply up to three references. For the pipe, we select the face shown, choose the mate concentric, and confirm. See that the mate reference is arranged in its own folder in the feature manager, separate from the other positions. To use the mate reference, we select the entity that has the mate reference applied and press the Alt key on the keyboard. Note that when you drag the mouse while holding down the Alt key, a clip symbol appears. We drag it to the entity of the other component, in which we want to relate that face. Note that another symbol is shown, this time guiding what type of positioning is being applied. We have to release the mouse while the symbol is being shown. Proceeding this way, see that when you release the mouse, the floating bar of the command made is displayed where we can confirm the applied positioning. In the feature manager, the mate feature is added. We will add the remaining positions, using the command mate, follow up.
we have the assembly done quickly and efficiently, using the design library and the mate and mate reference features. We have seen in this class how advantageous it is to use SolidWorks capabilities for assemblies and that we can have a high performance gain if we work this way.